I really believe that anytime you're trying to achieve a high level, you need to be self-motivated and you have to have this internal drive to get better all the time, especially at something that's kind of, you know, the, the way that powerlifting is structured, you don't get a lot from it. It doesn't give a whole lot back, um, except for the relationships that you can form with people and the personal satisfaction that you get from setting a goal and achieving it. And that's something that was really in my mind today. Um, the fact that those relationships you form with people and the positive aspect that comes with surrounding yourself with people that have a similar mindset. And so this is my buddy Ben, uh, Ben Seath, if you guys don't know. Um, he's totaled over 2,000 pounds multiple times as a raw power lifter, uh, squatted 860 um, with a belt and knee wraps, benched 500 and he's pulled over 700. Uh, really good friend of mine, I came home and we got this session together. Um, you know, I just came home to use the gym, honestly, because my gym back at school was closed for a deep clean, and I didn't want to miss out on a couple of sessions. So got to hang out with him and really be reminded of how important it is to find people in your life that are supportive and have some sort of like-minded focus so that you can be a support system for each other. And I've been fortunate, too, with my subscriber base that everyone's been so great and uh, I just I just feel constantly like I have a lot of help from everyone and it's really nice and that kind of the flip side of that coin is you have to make sure that you remove the negativity from your life too you have to be aware of possible things that are pulling you away from not necessarily your goals but what makes you happy and if this is something that makes you happy if you're pursuing something that you know makes you happy you need to make sure that you surround yourself with other people that are going to help you be successful in that and it's really crucial uh, to to not try to be an island even if you have this incredible self-motivation and this internal drive you will have a much easier go at it if you surround yourself with a bunch of positivity so that's really was the thought I was having today um, overall the session itself felt pretty good uh, considering my strength levels my work capacity is still down because of the lack of sleep and the lack of nutrition but finals are done, and I'm going to have some time now to recover and feel a little bit better. So hopefully that will all improve in the next couple of weeks, and you guys will see a dramatic positive change towards how the workouts are going. Um, top sets today, uh, 6 -oh, 610 uh, deadlift from the ground. Felt pretty felt pretty easy they were a little slow and um, we didn't the deadlift bar that we were hoping to use was still locked up in here so we had to use a regular bar that's a little stiffer and a little less forgiving uh 500 pound pause squat double felt pretty solid um we'll call it there and then did a couple of sets of these stiff legs off of a, about a three and a half or a four inch plate um it's weird that my stiff leg deads always feel easier than my conventionals and i feel like my technique doesn't break down nearly as much when i'm not worrying about it but that's kind of a thing i guess so thank you guys for watching. Uh, ben and I will be back in tomorrow doing some upper body stuff. Um, he was a trooper and decided just to deadlift for the heck of it today. So that's where his 610 for a triple came from. He wasn't planning on doing that. But overall, good day. Um, and I'm excited to get back into it tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like rating, share with your friends, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.